Hello, it's very nice to see you again. In this PHP tutorial, you can learn how to force file downloads in the browsers, and it also helps you to secure the file location so the person downloading the file can't see where the file actually lives. You can also do things like make sure the person is logged into your system with cookies for your login system. That way, just pe random people can't just come to your site and download any files if you want to maybe sell files and things like that. So I'll be discussing all that with you in this video tutorial. Let's go! And you have to make sure you're on a PHP enabled server. Make a new project folder on your server, call it test project or whatever, and inside that new folder, create a uh, force download.php file. You see like I have here, mine is named force download.php. Now, within your testing folder, make a new folder called mystery folder, and that's going to store your files that you want people to download. So you should have a file called forcedownload.php and right next to it in that same folder with it you should have a folder called mystery folder and in that folder you want to put a file called track1.mp3. So those are your instructions initially here and make sure you do those right now before we continue. You got to do that right now. If you don't do those steps that I just told you to take right now no nothing else is going to work. And I always give my scripts away for download, right? When I put the video out, I put the uh, script on Develop PHP right underneath the video, and I link to it on YouTube. So there won't be any problems. I want you to take this code and run it. Okay, so let me show you what mine looks like. This is my online setup on my web server. I'm in a testing folder right now. Within that testing folder, I have my force download.php file. And I have my mystery folder. Inside of my mystery folder, you can see I have track1.mp3. That's the setup you should have right now. Now you can then navigate to your web server to force download.php, whatever testing folder you have it in, and you'll see a button sitting on the page. And your page will look like this. Then when you press download the mp3, you'll see the download dialog come up. And there's my file. And there I go. I can open it. So there's the mp3 file just downloaded to my computer. Now if I view the source, you can see I can't see that mystery folder reference anywhere in here. So as the person downloading the file, if I was the view source of this page, I don't get to see the location of that file really. So you can do that in Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, any browser you want. You'll get pretty much the same results. The file will be forced to download in the user's browser and they won't be able to see this mystery folder reference. Now if you happen to run this script on your server right now and you didn't get the file download, that means you did something wrong. Either you set up your folders wrong or your script is bad. Now like I said, I'm going to have the exact code that I used on developphp.com after I release this video tutorial. So if you do have syntax problems and you're not getting the file to download, you might want to reference your code against mine. Now in order to secure this application, really what you want to do is make session data handling available by claiming session start on the first line and then maybe you want to check and make sure that the person viewing the page is logged into your system and then you want to check the database to see if they've recently bought any files and if they have purchased any files you want to give them a list of download buttons so basically what you want to do is make this form dynamically render however many times over and over again for the amount of files that they've purchased that they can download and all you do is simply dynamically render the name of the file here or you can say uh, file ID for the input name of this hidden variable and send the ID of the file in the database and then you can just query the database up top to see what the file name is and dynamically insert the file name according to the ID of the variable so you have to understand PHP programming really well and MySQL data handling in order to create yourself a really nice digital download system where people are buying files and you're serving them up to those people securely. You gotta make sure those people are logged in before they can download anything. And you really want to make sure that the person doesn't really know exactly the folder where those downloads are. And that's pretty much the basics of it. Now the last thing you need to know is the um, content type. Now that will change. You're gonna have to alter this according to what type of file it is. To get a MIME type list or a content type list you can go to developphp.com in the glossary of terms down here it says MIME type. Click on that and you'll see a nice big list. 
So the type of file that you want to let people download, you can see I went here and I got down to the MP3, and that's where I snatched up this content type to put into my PHP code right here. You see, audio MPEG3, that's the content type I snatched up. So if you're letting people download, say, JPEGs, you would grab this MIME type or content type. And you would just take that, go to your form or your uh, PHP code, and swap it out right there. Same thing for .docs, .txt, .pdf, .flv, whatever kind of file you have. And this list is a nice big list here. I don't have all of the uh, content types, but I have most of them. So there are a number of different ways that you can secure an application that does digital download. So for instance, if you're selling files, you can secure the files, make sure nobody that's not supposed to download them can download them. That's really the basis of it. You just want to let people pay for something. Then after they pay for it through the gateway online, then you store in your database the information about that sale. And then when they come to log in or are returned to your website to download the file, your MySQL database already knows because you have back-end processes with your payment gateway. And with PayPal, it's called IPN programming. IPN scripts will enable that back-end processes. So if the person's logged in, when they press buy when to purchase the file, they're going to be sent to the gateway, and you can just send their unique ID for your login system along with that form to PayPal. PayPal will send all the sale data back along with that ID. You stick it all in the database and then your system automatically knows what member ID bought what file. You see it's very simple. That's how it works. I mean it's not very simple but that's how it works. And I'll have this little code snippet available uh, under the video where it's playing at developphp.com and I'll put the link for it in the description and the YouTube description area for this video. Okay, so that is how you can force file downloads in all the different browsers. And it's handy not even in scenarios where you're selling things, just in ordinary everyday scenarios where you want somebody to download something, but you don't want them to actually know where it's being stored on your server. And if you directly link, say, to an MP3 file, the uh, browser is going to play the MP3 file, or the same for a few other types of files. I think .zip is the only one that natively has a file download dialog automatically. Other files like JPEG and MP3, if you just point to it in the browser, it's going to render that in the browser. So you have to use some code like this, the header and read file functions, to force that download to occur.